listening the open door and our spiritual life teachings. We just want to thank you all for stopping by on our channel to give your support to our beloved destiny the open door we appreciate the support from all throughout the globe wherever you are in the world we thank you on today for this day is the day of the Lord God who opens up to us his heart and shows us his heart and so many divine ways and so on today we will touch on the divine essence of the third ray band of light in the heavenly realm is the ray of the love of God, the adoration of God, and the devotion of God. It is the very aspect of consummation of oneness, which is the application of love and the Holy Spirit, that tolerance, that is acceptance, tolerance leading to patience and self-control and the tolerance of love. It is the harmony of God whereby the accord and synchroniz the synchronization of his love to us is always expressed. That which is compassion and adoration are its attributes that is also highlighted on this ray of love. Throughout this ray, in which the color spectrum has adorned the entire world with beautiful light. our hearts and be ever consumed in the love coming forth from this magnificent ray that requires us to fulfill our selfless, compassionate endeavors and for the beneficent use in our daily lives to generate the tolerance and understanding to hold the balance of its expression in the hearts and minds of each one as the blessed Archangel Chamuel and the great Elohim Heroes projects these rays to the earth as the world is filled with the love and light of heaven, our blessed Chohan of this third ray is the ascended master Paul the Venetian, who humbly welcomes all of us at inner levels to the Chateau de Liberté, which is located in the region of southern France. Once we think on these great and mighty beings of the third ray and ask your God presence to connect you 
to these beings of light. That connection, once completed, will bring you the assistance that you need. The coordination in the heavenly realm is truly amazing as we each think on the heavens. We must be so filled in the love of our hearts to engage in the beautification of its divine sanctuary on the screen of life now as we together sing Hosannas. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my foundation. Salvation. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my foundation. And salvation. So we give praise to thee. We give our heartfelt calls to them to aid us in our evolvement of the many aspects of life that we find ourselves in. This band of light, which is pink in color, emits the God qualities of love, adoration, and devotion to our planet as the company of heaven shines forth these wondrous working powers to flood the earth with God harmony, God unity, God affection, and a lot of vibrant adoration, admiration, and adulation. Each one of God's children are ever working towards perfection of the mind, heart, and soul of their own individual body temple. So allow us to just marinate on those words of life. give our introduction, our prayer invocation is next, and the spiritual guidance, and also, let me see, our spiritual affirmation, the prayer supplication, and the closing remarks by myself. So that is our agenda as we go into our invocation of prayer. Let us just think for a moment on that which is the luminous presence of our beloved Christ, the mighty I am presence within us and also on Jesus Christ. In the name of our beloved mighty, I am presence. We raise everything 
and our being and world and to the heart of the secret love star. And we see that. We abide in thy great peace. self-control forever charge us and our world with the violet consuming flame of divine love which consumes all that is undesirable and keep me clothed and keep us clothed forever with thy almighty perfection almighty I am almighty I am Almighty I am. And our spiritual guidance on this evening is this. The great presence, Surya, beloved Surya, who is the same as the Lord Maitreya, is a great intelligence from the great central spiritual sun. And he will soon begin his activity on earth again. Surya is an independent focus like Cyclopia and the lures of the flame from Venus. His activity is independent because the assistance he offers is of his own volition and entirely independent of the hierarchy who have charge of this planet's growth. He watches over and gives assistance to all who are nearing the point of their ascension. He is permitted to intensify that at a given point, the Christ Maitreya, who is the most highly evolved being to graduate from this planet is raising his vibration sufficiently to anchor his seventh initiation, leaving him 345 levels yet to go toward his source from where he individualized in the first place. With divine equality throughout creation, you all have equal rights to claim your own inheritance as gods, being aspects of all that is, the source of this cosmic day. The Christ Lord Maitreya was one of the recent avatars of the Christ consciousness, the latest of a whole series of avatars. There have been 35 avatars of the Christ consciousness on our planet. Maitreya came to anchor unconditional love and in doing so was only partially successful. It is said that our planet has not fully grasped or believe in unconditional love. The Christ gave the earth as much unconditional love as it could accept at that time. And the earth utilized as much unconditional love as it could at that time in its evolution. Maitreya, the Christ, is not the same as the one called Jesus. Jesus was the physical vehicle in a channeling sense for the being Maitreya or the Christ. They came in together to serve the earth. Jesus is a great being. He is a member of our planetary hierarchy. Having ascended in another life after serving as the physical vehicle of the Christ, now Jesus suffered, but not as much as has been portrayed. The Christ did not suffer in the role that he played upon the earth. Suffering is not a part of what the Christ believes in. Jesus has also learned now that suffering is not necessary. 
suffering comes from several factors, from not understanding the support system that is there for us, not understanding that change is necessary, not seeing the overall picture of what is being created, and several other points that for some of you will be part of your individual belief structure. So let us focus on the pillar of fire. The pillar of fire is the ray of force from out of the great central sun, which you are visualizing and it is a pillar of fire and is hollow. It has formed a permanent anchorage in the earth so that through it, there is a constant pouring forth of a mighty stream of purifying energy. From this explanation, you will see and understand how very important your efforts are. Be sure to keep them up. You are the determiner of what you do. So ask your mighty I am presence, to see that you do have time to do it and keep this up. Keep up the anchorage and visualizing the pillar of fire. This work must be done if anything occurs within the consciousness that causes the least fear or disturbance, one should instantly remember one's mighty I am presence, the master within, and ask it to dissipate all fear, its cause and its effects at once, and see that it never touches one's being or world again. We are students of the light who serve the light. And you should demand from the light, freedom from every disturbing condition. The Ascended Master Maitreya would like for us to know that the affinity between Master and Sheila in order for the hierarchy to better serve mankind, the God-free beings, whenever possible, work with and through the consciousness of the individuals who dwell upon their ray and who have sensitivity to the Holy Christ self. Yesterday I talked about the higher bodies of man and I talked about the causal body yesterday. Today I'm talking about the Holy Christ self. And the third higher body of man is the electronic um, body, which is the I am presence. So here we go. And I was saying that this work must be done through the consciousness of individuals who dwell upon their own ray and who have sensitivity to the Holy Christ self and who can be reached. So I've said a lot about this and I don't know if I'm referring to the seasoned Chila out there <laughs> who is working diligently on the path of self-mastery yeah. Or if I'm talking to individuals who are just starting out, wherever you are on the pathway of light, I will say this, that the work that is being performed, I spoke of imagination yesterday. Imagination. You must imagine that your life is great. And in this imagination, 
the manifest works from that will start to ensue and change. This is all thought. And so when we're talking about the consciousness, the consciousness is what? What is consciousness? Let me look that up for a minute. I'll just look it up. The consciousness is awareness, right? Yes. The consciousness is self-realization. So on your journey of finding your true higher soul self, in this walk of life, you must be conscious and aware of thyself. And so that is the Christ presence within you. You must consciously invoke Christ in your life daily. Allow for Christ to come forth and shine the benevolency of joy, of happiness, of peacefulness, of love and understanding a problem, the mindfulness of it, the perception of it, the cognizance of it is all awareness. So yes, the Christ consciousness is within us and but we must do our diligent work in bringing forth that Christ out of us to work a mighty work on our behalf. So we must what? Invoke it and, and calling it forth to come out and be present, be engaging in our lives. So yes, that is the Christ within. And who can be reached? So that the Chila becomes the master in the world of form according to his or her capacity and development. This simply means that as we are going about our lives, our daily lives, as we are building a relationship with our God presence, the mighty I am presence daily with meditation and prayer and applying our daily regimen of decreeing and invoking the violet consuming flame into our lives to remove all wrong desires and make things right, we also must purify and cleanse our four lower body systems daily by the use of the white flame and the ascended masters will start to avail themselves to us regularly by way of our consciousness. We each belong to a specific ray. And as we are practicing and attuning ourselves to our divine presence and Holy Christ self, the masters are able to look upon our light, which will illumine brightly and as you begin this daily application with the self, you will transform yourself. As that momentum is being builded, the masters are in observance and will offer greater assistance to you and your family. So that is how the masters of light work with the chila, which is you each of you who are on the pathway of self-mastery. And so that is important to understand and know that in our daily instruction, we are receiving daily from the heavens when we meditate, right? So our intentions must be focused on what it is that we need the heavens to help us with, the masters of light to help us with daily. And so let's say it's um, working on something small. And I'll say something like uh, something dealing with um, the children or something dealing with schoolwork or something uh, in your work capacity that you don't understand. 
uh, just call forth the beings of light. Uh, today is the ray uh, band of the third ray, which is our focus for today, uh, which is Monday. And on Mondays, we focus uh, on love, adoration, and devotion of God. And so those um, blessed ones who are able to assist us in that is Paul the Venetian, calling forth Paul to help us in, our, in the department of love, right? That we are struggling with our relationships with ourselves, uh, relationships with family, friends, loved ones, our partners, and uh, so the love band is raising its vibratory actions to allow for those frequencies that you emit to connect to that third ray and assist you on your journey and walk of life. And so when you ask for the assistance, guess what? That assistance will avail itself to you. So just remember that. And our spiritual affirmation for today is, I am love, 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 respecting the love of life in light always. I am love, 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 respecting the love of life in light always. I am love, 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 Respecting the love of life and light always. And our prayer supplication for the hour is this. In the name of the beloved presence of God, I am in me. The source that is anchored within our hearts. We love and adore you. We enter into the realm of life that is needing the assistance now. We ask Lord Michael, Archangel of Protection, to be with us now. Our beloved Archangel Uriel, to bring forth the peace in our hearts. Our beloved Elohim Heroes, Archangel Chamuel, Archaei Charity, and our beloved Master Chohan, Paul the Venetian, to enter in our space at this time to bring the love that is needed today. you have 
have reared them, sown into them your love of your heart, the instruction that came forth from you to them, and the time spent in loving them. Love is the feeling that you get late night for the one is so deserving of you. Love is the many expressions of frustrations, anger, resentment, and pain, which are later smoothed over by the love of God, the remembrance of God, and the forgiveness of God, flowing freely through you to usher in the joy of God, the happiness of God, and the harmony of God. Always in those moments of turmoil, God is there. The love from you to your partner is expressed intimately, and the offering of you to your partner we ask the great God presence in each of us to build a barrier of protection around each one and their significant other, their spouse, their partner for life in this realm of love operating here. Love must shine through in the honoring of our body mind, soul, and spirit of each one, and especially the one we love so near and dear to us, we must come in this protectiveness to celebrate our divine union, to give our union the opportunity to grow and foster a firm foundation that we need God presence to assist us with and all the great and mighty beings on the third ray to assist us in the loving of ourselves and our life partners to have that understanding of their hearts when we know that there is no inner standing that seems right but we know it must be worked on and we know it must be worked through in love it must be handled in love it must be forgiven in love and we each must honor and respect each other in love that is operating here and so we ask for the assistance from the third ray, legions of light, to show us the root cause of what is wrong, to adjust our behaviors, our selfishness, our inability to understand, and why there is a need to control our spouses, we must know that they are our husbands and love, our wives and love, our partners and love, our strength and love operating here. We must stop what isn't working and change our mindset to condition ourselves to honor and celebrate our union because in this union there must come the great I am instructing us the great I am directing us and the great I am us to the core principles of the love 
of ourselves and the love of one another. And so we ask each one to take a moment of silence and express your personal prayers for your life right now. ourselves, we love our children, our parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, our cousins, our family, and we love them each individually. You have already done your service work. And maybe, just maybe, all of you need, and all that you need is to become aware of the one true source of light within, to take it to the next level and begin the process of your initiations to work on the beautiful colored energy centers within you to align with the magnificence of the light rays from the many spectrums of light that bathe the planet each day. If you are already shining your light, thank you for your service to our planet. For those that are not fully aware of why you came to Earth, I recommend going through or going within yourself and having a deep conversation with the light of Christ within you. No other person can do this but you. And as you begin to see yourself as you truly are with the help of your inner Christ, just like Lord Maitreya, just like Lord Jesus, just like Lord Krishna and the Muhammad, each one had their own individualized Christ presence within. And so as you will shine brightly, 
and radiate those colors and spectrums of light from the band of light in which you came from, along with other light rays that you are working on to master thyself. Welcome to the next phase of your master class at inner levels. The heavenly hosts are always in tune, giving all of you your assignments to work on. I will start with the inner Christ flame, which is the Christ light, and allow it to begin widening the entire body system to align with the energy centers as you connect with the God qualities and God virtues to express your love, to express your light each day. This is the process of discovery and learning more about yourself is a wonderful experience to behold. The answers are within you, but you must firstly tap into it with your devotion and adoration of divine love and light to your Christ, building that firm foundation with Christ, which is the mighty I am presence, the Christ light within you. Please do not be afraid to hit me up on my website and send me a question or testimony of yourself as we explore the vast teachings of sacred ancient wisdom. I thank you for being a light unto the path and realizing that you are special. You are important and you are the light of God and the great central sun to shine your magnificent light upon the earth each day. God bless you all and thank you for just supporting our beloved destiny, the open door. Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. I don't know, save you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. I don't know, dear destiny, the open door. God bless you all. Namaste. Peace be with you and upon you. Love and light to you all. Almighty I am. Almighty I am. Almighty I am. With love and gratitude to the ever present one and all of you. This is Tammy Dennis with Destiny the Open Door and our spiritual life teachings. Bidding you good night and good morning wherever you are in the world at this time.